the hell? Bad news, if you feel that way about the trailer you saw too, then sorry, the Minecraft movie isn't meant to be for you. This is the single most popular shared post about the movie, and it shares a very popular idea, which is that the new trailer has revealed a movie that's going to delight its core demographic, and that just ain't you. The writer of this article claims they have a 10 year old child who loves Minecraft as much as pretty much any other kid his age. They have Minecraft t-shirts, watch endless hours of other people playing Minecraft on YouTube, and they are, I'm sorry to tell you, Minecraft's target audience. That is the writer's opinion, and it is backed up by the trailer having one of these silly segments in it. <laughs> Yeah, every family movie has that segment, just so your very young children can get a laugh too, but it is worth mentioning that obviously the director of the movie has specifically said he wanted to avoid an ugly Sonic situation because he didn't want to disappoint the 10 year olds or they're going to murder us. In other words, kind of implying that 10 year olds are a key thing he's considering here, but it's also funny because he references considering an ugly Sonic situation. If you never saw the original Sonic trailer, you're probably better off that way, but that's basically exactly what we ended up with in the Minecraft movie. We we have this sheep and this llama, and let's not forget Jack Black as, well, I am Steve. This was the big reveal from the trailer, and yet it is one that does not make you think that he's a very good Steve, and it's funny because literally with just a little bit of a slightly bluer shirt, one that looks more like Steve, he could have looked a lot better. The same could have been done with the sheep. If it had had an actual sheep face, it would look cute and at least interesting that it had a different texture as opposed to horrifying. The same is true for the llama and the creeper, and my point here is that it almost seems like they're going out of their way to make something that is horrifying and different, and a part of me wants to think given that Jared Hess knows about the ugly Sonic situation, that maybe they're trying to recreate the exact same controversy, because that worked out so well in the Sonic movie's favor, everyone started talking about how bad the movie looked, but then they fixed that biggest problem, and so people still knew about it, and I think it was a great marketing campaign, whether on purpose or by accident, and so it makes you wonder if Minecraft is trying to recreate that in some way. Obviously, this movie is going to rely on a huge amount of publicity, and some of that's going to need to come from the community, and what better way to get a bunch of free advertising than make people a little bit angry. Maybe I'm thinking too much of Warner Brothers here, but yeah, I think it's sensationalized anger. I agree with Jago. Uh, it's the thing to get mad at and dislike right now. By the way, over a million dislikes if you uh, believe the dislike uh, extensions for Chrome, which I don't think you necessarily should. But the fact is there are so many people hating on this trailer because people love to do that. And honestly, that makes me think they're gonna hopefully make some changes. It would be wild if they didn't, but also what's wild, by the way, uh, coming back to this Jack Black as Steve thing, if a well-known character needs to tell you who they are, then no, they aren't. And this is a valid point, uh, kind of backed up by everyone else's reactions to this. Okay. This guy is such a tool bag. By the way, this is one of the things I will actually defend about the trailer. Everyone is mocking Jack Black because instead of playing Steve, he's just playing Jack Black dressed in a blue shirt, right? This is a very big problem. However, I think that it actually is kind of, uh, you know, it's the important movie arc that you need to have. They're going to go in there. They're going to meet Steve and he's going to be super frustrating. He's going to be Jack Black-esque, you might even say. And then what's going to happen is after he's disappointed them, at some point he's going to save the day and that's going to lead him to being the Steve that we know. And the reason we can be fairly sure of that is because when the Minecraft movie was discussed earlier this year, uh, it was actually mentioned, uh, Jack Black literally said that it takes place before Minecraft was even invented. So it's kind of an origin story. He's going to become the Steve that we know in Minecraft and we play as ourselves, and he's going to have to go through a journey to get there. And so hopefully that journey goes from him being just someone who dresses in blue to someone who is Steve. Maybe I'm being too charitable. That's something I've been accused of a lot. I think I'm one of the few people who are still cautiously optimistic about this. I hate how Warner Brothers handled the copyright situation on it. They still issued a strike against my channel for a thumbnail that they definitely didn't own, by the way. I have a lot of grievances with Warner Brothers, the company, and uh, clearly I do think that they are grossly incompetent at handling YouTube based on the fact that they have this huge thing here and they haven't uh, explained that they're going to be fixing it or anything just yet. I think that there are lots of ways that they are fumbling this bag, but I also think that they're a giant movie studio that know how to get people talking about it, and one of those ways is releasing a trailer that is hugely divisive. And I think that one of the problems with that marketing strategy is that it is a little disrespectful. It's a bit dramatic, I know, but I went several years of my life being made fun of or feeling embarrassed slash afraid to admit of how much I love the game. I was hoping, especially after all this time, that the movie would be something that showed the extent of quality and entertainment that could come from Minecraft. Instead, it just feels like another Jumanji movie that's going to make it even harder to be a fan. This is a very big problem that I 
definitely see Minecraft had that face. I remember it. It was weird on the channel. Like, people being like, oh, I can't believe you're a grown adult playing Minecraft. And it's like, yeah, the average age of player of this game is something like 26. It's a, it is a, 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 it is one of the true games that appeals to all ages. And so really, I think that the movie should be a one that appeals to all ages too. As much as someone might like to say that it's not meant to be for you because you're not a 10 year old child, you know, once you turn 11, the Minecraft movie is going to be awful. I think the point is they should make something that is for all audiences. Some people think that for all audiences just means it's really for children in the end. Uh, and as much as I hate that argument, I think there is a bit of truth to at least how I see movies. But that's why they really need to nail the world building so that you can relive your childhood. I mean, I feel like moments like this one are great. It means that they can have those slightly kiddish elements in the script that we can see just abundantly in the trailer without it necessarily being one that is going to turn everybody off. I think it's very cool to say, yeah, I don't like anything that's even appropriate for children. I need there to be gore and violence and sex scenes before I even consider watching a movie. And I totally understand that as a, you know, it's a great way to have a quality indicator for some shows too. But I feel like the Minecraft uh, world with scenes like this can just entice you in in a way that can help you relive your childhood while also potentially being a decent movie in itself. Is it going to be? Well, that is the struggle, right? That is uh, the hard question that has to be answered. And Nicholas uh, Bradley 3608 uh, re refers to my last video on the matter, my reaction to the trailer when I was in Vietnam, and they say, you mentioned that the Mario movie did a good job at appealing to both fans of Mario and people that vaguely know it. However, the Borderlands movie that recently came out managed to do a bad job at appealing to both crowds, and I'm worried that'll be the case with this movie, even if it's something fun for someone who's a fan of Minecraft to watch. I did not know that Borderlands was a Borderlands movie, by the way. I thought that it was just coincidentally named, and so that's a sign of how bad a job the movie did. I love video game movies, and if I don't know it's a video game movie, I have no chance of watching it. But yeah, the uh, I think Minecraft might have this same problem. Fun fact, it's not called the Minecraft movie, or Minecraft <laughs> the movie, or anything like that. It's actually called a Minecraft movie. This is mentioned in the trailer. I, I, I don't know how I missed this, to be totally honest with you. What I do know, though, is it kind of sends this weird signal of not being any official Minecraft story, which is always the vibe they're going for at Mojang Studios. It's one of the parts of the game design book, but also that makes this feel like, yeah, it's just like the Minecraft Legends thing where they say it's not the story of Minecraft, it's just a story told with Minecraft stuff, and that makes it slightly less interesting, right? The Sonic movie, you know you're hearing the story of Sonic, even though it's technically a story of Sonic, I feel like that's not the thing that should be front and center of advertising, and so I hope that enough people know this is a Minecraft movie in a good way, uh, but hopefully they can do a better job at marketing it. Because I always uh, use the defense of the Netflix movie uh, being out there, which by the way, some people say, just because the Netflix show is going to be animated doesn't mean it will be any better. That's true. There is going to be an animated Netflix show, and it could be much worse than the movie, statistically speaking, uh, and actually will be. But I imagine that's going to be the one that can appeal to fans more. But it's all going to depend on this movie and how it does. Which, by the way, I want to come back to <laughs> the Minecraft movie. Uh, here, here's what they should have done to the trailer if it was realistic. Totally agree with I'm Piku, but also uh, I want to respond to comments that I get like this one because lots of people think that they know the secret ingredient that is missing. And as much as I appreciate the compliment from uh, you know, the in introverted extrovert 01, by the way, very real uh, condition being introverted and extroverted, but they need to cast you as the lead role, Echo as well. Uh, it's a really nice compliment, right? But at the same time, no, that's specifically not what they should do. If the Minecraft movie cast me, that would be an even bigger sign of failure. And obviously, name your favorite. YouTuber. Some of them are going to be in the movie, and so perhaps those people have some conflict of interest when talking about that. Totally makes sense. Uh, but I want to say that uh, the reason you shouldn't cast YouTubers in your movie is because the the, the, the skill set of being a YouTuber and the skill set of being an actor are not the same. They are very different. In fact, uh, I do not spend my whole day pretending to be someone else. Uh, in a way, I kind of do the exact opposite. I, and that would make me a terrible Steve. That would make me a terrible whatever Jason Momoa is meant to be. By the way, why is it? I just one last rant if I can have one about this trailer. Um, Jason Momoa could have looked like this, but instead he's cosplaying as Dora the Explorer. Why did they decide that that was a good decision here? There are so many calls here that I just don't quite understand, and that's why I'll unequivocally say that yeah, this is not a movie that I am sure will do great, but it is a movie that I think is interesting. It's a movie that I kind of want to see. Again, I, I, I feel like I have very mixed feelings about supporting Warner Brothers, uh, given how they've handled this, uh, but in 
in case you're feeling on the edge and wondering like, oh, maybe it is worth checking out, it's worth mentioning that Notch is in, uh, and that is a, uh, you know, I, I feel like if there is anyone who is not a 10 year old, it probably is Notch, right? Is that is that a fair thing to say? That if there's a Venn diagram of 10 year olds and uh, the creator of Minecraft, that they are two very different circles. And yet despite that, there is an interest for one of them to watch the other. Although maybe that's just vanity to be like, you know what? I'm gonna watch this movie because it's my creation coming to life. Who knows for sure? All I know is that I've just gotten back from a very long trip. It is uh, one of the longest flights I ever had. And during that process, I found a pizza vending machine, by the way. Have you ever felt so stupid for eating on a plane as when you see uh, a vending machine that could have made me a honey goat pizza at the airport? Anyway, the point here is to say uh, that I am back. And so the beta for 1.21.40 that came out this week, I think I do want to cover at some point, uh, perhaps even tomorrow, uh, if I'm not a ridiculously jet lagged. And also, speaking of ridiculously jet lagged, do you know who isn't jet lagged? Toy Cat holding a big salmon. That's right, this is a special plush to mark the end of uh, the big salmon being a Bedrock exclusive. Get it while you still can. Uh, this is a limited makeshift run. The last we'll be doing for quite a while on this channel. And so if you want to get one of these very unique <laughs> plushes, which by the way, I haven't revealed this detail yet, but if you look on the back, it says something very fun. Uh, as you can see, uh, the Toy Cat, Toy Cat is a big fan of big salmon. And so if you want to get one of these very adorable, very unique made to order plushes, you have just 22 days left to make that order. Uh, go do it. Don't leave it till the last minute because you gave me heart palpitations last time. Speaking of heart palpitations, I'm actually going to go to the hospital right now. My arm's been working funny and I haven't been able to fix it because I've been in a foreign country. So uh, yeah, add that to the list of reasons that we might not talk about the beta tomorrow. But there are some really weird things that Minecraft has decided to do and so let's talk about them soon. For now though, the Minecraft movie. I'm still excited. By the way, look, if you have a long boy, you could have your... You could have your toy cat, toy cat with a big salmon riding him. Wait, actually, if you had the true full collection, you could have your toy cat, toy cat original and your big salmon toy cat ride the long boy. There's space for a few more on here if you want. Uh, anyway, with that said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, my arms do not work correctly. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to go fix that now. Goodbye.